Hi guys, I hope you're home safe right now. Um, yesterday I just did uh, 1,000 double unders as my cardio wad. And today I'm gonna talk about how you can improve or be more efficient on your single unders or double unders. Now, before I start, I just want you to know that I am not a jumping rope expert or an exhibitionist like some of the um, athletes or uh, people that I see um, in their social media. Now, if you don't have a jumping rope yet, that's okay. Um, what you can do for now as a, pra as a practice is um, doing single tap or double tap when you jump. So as you're doing your single tap or double tap jumps, make sure that when you jump, or where, when you're in the air, that's when you already, uh, that's where you will tap once or twice. So before, uh, so before you land, you should already have tapped your legs once or twice. I'm pretty sure you guys are saying, well, Chris, that's very easy. Well, to be honest, some people, uh, their body is not coordinated very well. So this would be a good practice for them to see if their if their upper body can coordinate with their lower body for people who have, who already have a jumping rope or a speed rope first thing that you need to be aware of uh, is your arm um, the the people that i see online when they do when they do their single unders or sometimes double unders um, their their elbows are too high and that's why they get tired easily or um, it's not it's not efficient I mean the the movement is correct the the goal of the movement is just simply for the rope to pass on your on your feet so if that happens then that's a good rep but if you want to be more efficient in doing it if you want to last long and conserve your energy um, just like since this is a cardio exercise just like running or swimming in order for you to last long you need to have a good form so it's it's the same it's the same for doing um, single unders or double unders. Doing single unders or double unders, as for your body, one hundred percent of your energy is being consumed on your wrist, your ankles, and your calves. So those are the ones that should be activated one hundred percent. 80% would be on your arms, legs, and, uh, and of course, your, your core, your abs. So those are the muscles that are activated but uh, shouldn't be consuming more energy. So if you, so for, that's why for most of the forms that I see is when they do donkey kick or pike or high elbows when they do that they're consuming more energy in their body which leads to not uh not lasting more when doing double and un double unders or single unders so that's why um what i'm gonna teach today is for you to be more efficient and at the same time you would last long in doing single or double unders. In order for you to know the, the right length for 
your speed rope or jumping rope is simply like this. Uh, step on the middle of the the speed rope or the rope rather. S step on the rope of your speed rope or jumping rope and uh, make sure that the end of end of the rope, okay, not the end of the handle, the end of the rope is uh, below your armpit or in your or armpit level. So that will be the, the right size of your or the right length for your speed rope. Okay, so in doing single unders or double unders, uh, it all starts with your wrist. Uh, most of the most of the people I, I see in um, in their video is they use their they use their arms when when they're doing singles or double unders, and it's on it it, sh it should only be your wrist. All right, so this is how. Your wrist should move when you're doing uh, for single unders of course it's, it's single and for double unders it's double for doing double unders make sure that your hands are slightly in front of you right and also your arms should be clipped Right, don't uh, your arms shouldn't be you know wide you should always um, stay like this as as you do single or double unders there there will come a time where it will open up a little but as much as you can try to clip it right and then as for your feet um, just like when you do single unders you don't you don't have to jump too high just enough for the for the rope to, to pass on your feet okay so that will just be like probably two centimeters All right and uh, also your hips uh, the problem is when you when your shoulder or when your arms are wide your hips are forced to uh, do this. That's why you're. Uh, that's why you're doing pike. So as much as possible, this needs to be straight when you jump. So it's kind of. It will look like this. Side view. Alright, look at my. Look at my uh, hips. And there you have it guys, that's how you learn how to be more efficient in doing single or double unders. If you have any more questions, just leave a comment and I'll try to answer them as much as I can. Um, again, this is Chris and stay safe.